Okay, so now let's take a look at the SIR daily snapshot. Matt puts this out every day, does a fantastic job, and it's got some great information in there that I really thought it was worth sharing, and you'll be able to see what comes to our Level 1 members every single day. So this is the daily snapshot right over here for today, 418, and we're just going to scroll down a little bit in here so you can get an idea of what's in here. Uh, Matt puts out uh, a technical briefing every single day. There's the S&P 500. You could see that the NASDAQ right there with all of the key levels, key numbers, uh, and the Russell right there. Not going to really look at that right now, but become a level one member. You can see that update every day. Uh, I showed you the charts on the S&P 500 already. When you look at that, those charts exist right over here. Uh, so you'll be able to see that and more because we've added in now the two-hour chart right there with all that information uh, and our proprietary um, uh, indicators on the bottom. You can see the daily chart that I just showed you also right in there and updated. And here is the weekly chart right over there. So this is all included in there uh, so you can get an idea. Uh, so uh, you can uh, look at the uh, outlook in here for the short term and Matt has all that information in there, looking at the pattern structure, the slim ribbon, the reversal scout. So this is for the shorter term, so it's daily and intraday charts that we look at, and you can see that is all negative, of course, right now, based on the conditions of the stock market. Important to be able to always look at that and get an idea of uh, if there is an alignment on that information. Intermediate outlook right over there, as you can see, and this is really where it's important to look at if you're a swing trader or investor because this information gets to be really important. You can see on the weekly chart on the S&P 500 the pattern structure is positive and on the short term a pattern structure is neutral in there. So you have a reversal scout and the uh, on both the short term and the daily uh, I'm sorry, on the, on the weekly and the daily, uh, giving you this declining uh, momentum conditions. So when you look at this, it really says that, you know, everything in here looks like it's a correction in an intermediate upward trend. So that's what we've been saying, and this is really reflective of that. So that's important. And if we look at the long term right over here, you can see also that um, on the long term, it's looking at monthly and weekly charts and the momentum condition being negative over here on the weekly chart shows you that it's pretty likely that with all of this positive right over here, if you're a, an investor, then you get a pretty good sense right now that, you know, we're in a correction. These would have to just change pretty significantly to give us some indication that the uh, market was in a bear market, but th the weekly chart would have to turn into a negative structure, and that is just extremely unlikely right now. So that's a, a look at the uh, S&P 500, and of course we have that on the NASDAQ and on the Russell also. Let's just look at this really quickly. Again, the charts are available there in the NASDAQ for you to see by clicking on that and see all of our analysis, and let's just look at these uh, uh, outlooks right over here. So this is the short-term outlook as you can see, as expected, all of the pattern structures and momentum conditions on the daily and, and interday are negative, and those, uh, that is what you expect to see during a decline and a corrective process going on in the market. Here you could see the intermediate, and again, we're getting an indication that the pattern structure is positive, but the short-term daily charts uh, and the momentum conditions on the reversal scout are negative, so that says it's likely a correction that's going on in a positively configured pattern structure again that means that it is a correction it's not very likely to be a bear market condition unless things would change very dramatically and the longer term outlook right over here you can see that the momentum on the weekly is negative but basically everything else is positive so for investors this is very likely a uh, uh, a correction in an ongoing bull market. We can do this again for the Russell right over here, but you're going to get the same type of information. So I'll save you going through that again. Become a level one member and you'll be able to have all of this. And I love this chart. I mean, this is really a great chart to be looking at uh, because it gives you the particular index and you just read it across long-term trend condition, long-term momentum condition. These are all positive. This is really a bull market indication. 
the intermediate trend condition right over here. The Russell has turned neutral, but the other ones are still positive <clears throat> on intermediate trend. And the momentum conditions, of course, are negative. So again, all of this looking at this longer term and intermediate term gives us signs that we are in a corrective period. But now when you look at the short term for traders and the inner days right over there, that really gives you the sense of what's going on right now with everything being very, very bearish. Now, when we get into some upside movement in here, you're going to see these near terms turning bullish right there. And you'll probably still see this as bearish. And then you'll know you're in an upside correction of this downside move that we're in and uh, so these would be bulls these would be bears and that would be a condition that the market would very likely turn back to the downside to get back into a very bullish condition these would all have to turn bullish again as we saw for so many weeks so this is just a, a great way to look uh, at the conditions of the market love that chart uh, matt does an incredible job on this uh, as you uh, see all of the charts available in there. Uh, and this is the daily snapshot for 418. And again, I really encourage you to become a level one member if you're not already, or if you're a member, make sure that you do go back and refer to this information because it's just absolutely great work. That's a take, that's a look at the SIR daily snapshot at work.